All right, we are back from our break. Um, the players uh, have finished up all of their uh, their duties or their their things that they want to do. Um, so, having gotten the ship ready, uh, the next the following evening from uh, meeting with Carowith, uh the members of the pots uh, show up uh, individually, not all as a group. Um, uh, the first one to show up, uh, is a, a human male, um, he's kind of of a middling height and age, you know, maybe, he appears like maybe in his 40s, early 40s kind of thing. Um, his hair is, uh, curly brown, uh, with beard, um, and he wears a, uh, uh, a blue, uh, garment, it's called a katan, it's a Greek. Uh, and he also has a, a gnarled staff with him. Uh, he introduces himself as uh, an oracular wizard, um, which Leva, you would basically understand that as uh, a fancy way of saying diviner. Okay. Uh, and uh, he, he uh, uh, it greets you. He uh, asks for the captain, um, and when Asher uh, shows up, uh, he holds out his hand to, to shake and says... Um, Good day. I am uh, I am known as Dodoros. Uh, I've been with the uh, pots for quite some time, and uh, I have some uh, magic that may aid us in discovering the location of the uh, the Neogi that uh, escaped. Uh, let's hope. Uh, my name is uh, Higgins, and uh, I hope that uh, your magic can indeed uh, guys to where we need to get going. Oh, I'm 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 sure it will. Um, He's uh, he's got a, a small pack um, and uh, a number of pouches. Uh, the staff itself actually looks like the the top is uh, kind of carved to look like a feather quill pen, uh, and you notice that he's wearing a uh, uh, a glass ring. Uh, it has some sort of symbol engraved upon the uh, the top of it. Um, hmm. And uh, you go ahead and show him to uh, some quarters. Yeah. Um... The thing is, is I was going to talk about this. We only have one guest quarter. Do we have a picture of our ship here? One second. Um, I can pull you over to the uh, the map in a second. Okay. Do do do. I believe it's date room. Uh, so room eight on the uh, officer's deck. Uh, that's the um... captain's day room. No, that's the commander uh, officer's deck. That's the the room that the jewel was in. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, yeah, now you could also, you know, like clear out a couple of the uh, crew quarters or set some so uh, space aside on the uh, the cargo deck uh, as well. Yeah, I mean. Um... It's not too big of a, uh, like an issue. Four people, can they fit in that one room or not? Or is it be rude or long? How many, how many people are we having all together here? Four. 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 four? Yeah. I was like, that's... Yeah, we can make a room on... Uh... I just... I would have said just a guest course, but Because they get a whole room to themselves, considering how many people we got on the ship. Well, how I mean, many people can we set up in that guest course? I I mean, um, quite a few. I mean, the the crew quarters themselves hold a bunch of people with like multiple bunks. Um, mm -hmm. the The question is whether they will want to and stuff like that. I mean, okay. Uh, I guess we can clear out like a couple or a uh, crew quarters for whoever in the guest room, and then if they want to, we can clear out room in the cargo area. Okay. I was thinking we put the priest and the wizard in the same room, in the guest room, and then the the other two got warrior types with the rest of the crew. Depends if uh, generally you put the same sex people in the same room. That's how I was, but the captain. Don't know if the captain. I think we got it. Yeah. Um. 
the uh, um, the wizard also uh, um, mentions that uh, he's from uh, Lagger's world in Great Space. So oh. I don't know where that is. Great or great? Great. Great Space. Great. Yeah, I've heard of that. Why well, everything is great? <laughs> you, uh, Higamus would be aware of Great Rockwell Space. Say, great yeah. Space is one of the uh, um, the the major known spheres in the area, alongside Realm Space, Gray Space, and you Brawl Space. His name? Ah. Uh, the second one that shows up, um, is, a uh, an elf, uh, he's, uh, uh, blonde, uh, and his robe is, uh, kind of made of, uh, scintillating rainbow hues, um, but, uh, it's the kind of thing that you would think would clash, but doesn't, uh, it actually kind of, uh, goes well together, um, he's got a, uh, a, a white skull cap on top of his head and uh, um, a dagger and a number of uh, belt pouches uh, on his belt. Uh, he introduces himself as Temeladan Lamarathor. Uh, and he uh, greets you, Higamus, as uh, captain, and he says, I am a priest of the uh, of Kirith Sothero. Uh, I, I'm sure you've never heard of her, uh, but she is a... a goddess of divination enchantment. Mm. Am I there? Would I recognize that? I don't know. Do you want to be there? Uh, is it... like, yeah, you, probably. Do you want to be seeing the people coming on board? All right. Yeah, yeah. that curiosity. Yeah, you, would. you definitely uh, know of uh, Kirith Sotheril, uh, but you don't know a whole lot about her priests. Um, again, kind of like uh, um, Narlis Onalor, She's one of the, the minor deities without a, a huge following. I introduce myself to him and just exchange pleasantries as a fellow priest. Um, he uh, yeah, he says, ah, ah, in, in, indeed, Erevan Elisir, yes. Not uh, not common to see uh, your, your type out here. And, uh, no, I've yet to find another one of my kind out here, he <sighs> says a leaf. Ah, uh, you you should uh, see how rare my fellows are. <laughs> I uh, I actually had to. Uh, I actually came from uh, the uh, Elven nation of Selene on in Gray Space. Uh, have you ever All been right, there? I make a mental note of this. Okay. <laughs> where, where is this? Uh, right, just yes, yeah, the the uh, center of the universe. Uh, a worth. Gray uh, have you, Space. Have you heard What's of the it? name? It's, uh, it's... I'm just a great. No, I'm. No, I say I don't know, but. Uh, Braxis says I've I've heard of Grey Space. Oh yeah, What's I'm, the I'm surprised. Uh, Celine. So I... I'll, I'll give you. Ask me after the the session. I'll give you yeah. names and stuff like that. Because I need to make notes of all the major urban cities. It's not a city. Uh, it's a nation. All right, a nation then. You think maybe you should give her that picture of Jewel? Probably. Or turn it into a dragon pitcher. There you go. She's gone. An all dragon. All right. Um. Okay. And uh, he uh um. Yeah. So so he he then uh, describes that uh, his uh, deity uh, focuses on uh, divination magics and um he has some some spells that uh, may be able to uh, aid the search. Excellent. Let's uh, hope that uh, we'll be able to find these uh, slavers. I was looking at the spell seek, and which is restricted to um, <laughs> priests who have a specialty in divination. So I'm guessing that's the spell. Maybe. We'll find out. Um... <laughs> Money's on the ball on that one, I think. What? <sighs> Never mind. Okay. Um, a little bit later, uh, two more individuals show up, a, uh, um, uh, two warriors, Commoners. male and female. Um, okay. they, uh, um, uh, show up together, uh, but it look they're, they're friends, just in case you were getting the wrong in impression. Um, <laughs> the, uh, uh. The male has uh, brown hair and a beard, um, but it's 
not as well groomed as uh, uh, Dodorosa Diviner. Um, he uh, comes on board and sa- and and just kind of gives a, a good uh, you know big shout out. Hello, the ship. I'm Royard, hey. reporting for duty. Where's hey, the captain? Come aboard. I'll uh, raise my hand or whatever the appropriate thing is. All right. Uh, he's Tip wearing. He he's not actually wearing any armor right now, but uh, um, you can tell that his uh, pack is quite bulky. You'd guess that there's some uh, armor in there. Um, and uh, he has a a bastard sword with him. Um, and he uh. uh takes your hand, even though his hand is a lot smaller, and he just, like, kind of gives you a, a real, you know, real shake, you know, just, you know. Ah, it's good to meet firm you, Captain. Handshake. Yeah, I, I return the firm handshake. Being careful not just to outright crush us. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a fine-looking ship well, you got here. Thank you. Uh, this is the, uh, oh, forget, this is the hilt. This is the hilt. And above is the uh, blade. Ah, good names, good names. I was like a good uh, sword named ship. <laughs> I'm Royer de, de Baranth, and uh, this is my friend here, uh, Zarsha. Uh, the the woman has uh, uh, black hair, uh, cut pretty short. Uh, she is wearing uh, lamellar armor uh, and a kind of a conical hat on uh, on her head. Um, and she gives you a, a slight bow, uh, when she's introduced and, and then, uh, holds out her hand, um, and says, a pleasure to be on board, Captain. I'm Zarsha uh, Bint Samris. Uh, likewise, I'm, uh, Higamis, uh, Corporal First Class, I Captain think... of this ship. It is a pleasure to, uh, join you in this hunt for the slavers. Yes, let's hope uh, with uh, the help of uh, the Diviners, we'll be able to locate these uh, slavers. Indeed, indeed. Uh, if you don't mind, I would like to be shown to my quarters. Uh, I'd like to get settled in and get some sleep, if you don't mind. Yes, right away. Uh, as you um, get some crew to, to show her down, uh, Royard uh, says, Now, ah, where's the mess? Got any ale? <laughs> 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 Yeah, right away. direct him to Oka, our local drinking expert. I'll drink that <laughs> much. <laughs> Plus, he likes mead. You right I drink mead. Ah, you're one of them. Ah, nothing beats a good, uh, good pint of ale. You should try it sometime. Well, Afton's got no objections to ale. I what? don't know what Higamus would drink. I think he drinks anything. So yeah, he. he He'll definitely show him down to the mess and all that stuff. You strike me as the fancy type. Me? He's the fancy wines. As Higgins. Probably, actually, yeah, he probably would like the wines. But he wouldn't have ale, too. No, you got, like, etiquette and stuff, so you'd probably want to fit in with high society. <laughs> Higgins likes eating plants, so I get a feeling he drinks cider. <laughs> yeah, that's a good that point, be, actually. That could be, yeah. That's maybe a good point. Well, I mean, yeah, all of it's made out of plants. I mean... <laughs> That's actually also a good point. But cider is made of fruit. Mm. And again, so is wine. Anyway. <laughs> I drink ale sometimes, but I prefer mead. Alright, well, yeah, uh. Mead's made, mead's made yeah. out of honey. Yeah, and that's an animal product. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't require the killing of the animals. Uh, I don't. I don't think Higamus would have a problem with that. Besides, uh, GIF normally. I mean, most GIF are omnivores anyway, so. Yeah. But, I don't know, I, I, it's up to uh, uh, the player of the character, what they I think uh, Higgins, to do. Higgins, uh prefers wine, uh, but he, uh, he's been a soldier, so he'll drink ale and all that whatnot, yeah. too. Um, yeah, it, like, wine is more of an officer thing than a, uh, a trooper thing, as well. Mm. Okay, um, you, uh, you help the... Uh, um, new members of your, the temporary members of your crew uh, get settled um, and uh, make plans to set sail the next day. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright. Um, with that, you guys uh, uh, get some rest and 
uh, the next day. Uh, oh, set no. off. Yes. Yes. On the day before, oh, well, in the morning, I suppose I would create five temporary healing potions to last for five days. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Do I have? So everyone oh, apart from me has got one. Yeah. Well, Leva will say she doesn't need one, as mm -hmm. usual. All right, fine. I'll take them. I'm not going to argue anymore for that. <laughs> <laughs> How far along uh, is Leva with the research? Not very far, and such that uh, uh, you'll you'll have to start over. But you didn't spend. Uh, I'm not going to charge you anything for what you did. Okay. Because uh, it takes it takes weeks. In the oh, meantime, well. uh, are I we doing we're... the? Are we doing the same shifts as before? I'd assume so, unless there's something yes. that you guys want to do. I mean, like some reason that you want you'd want to change it. Is there any reason that you guys would want to change it? No, really. Okay. Uh, I just realized that I still had all of the plant. Uh, planets from the last crystal sphere that you were in uh, still on the uh, chart, so I am changing that Grayson, up. Grayson, we're still doing our daily Balex uh, sparring sessions, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll get you guys over to the uh, uh, sphere chart in a moment. Um... So, Yeldon, uh, the wizard and the priest, uh, Dodoros and uh, Temeladan, um, once no. you guys set off, uh, they they come to ask you about... Uh... Yeah, I give them the amulet. Okay, they, uh, um, they get uh, ready to, to use it. Um, in addition, they... Uh, well, Tamelodan says that uh, he will need access to your chart room as well. There's All right. an astrolabe in there. Yeah. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and bring you over. Just ignore the little sidebars that I put down there with the uh, the planets. I'll get rid of those later. All right, so you're currently over here. And um, uh, Tamelodan pulls out uh, a set of wind chimes, uh, and while holding the uh, uh, the amulet that you gave him, um, he uh, chants a spell and then uh, holds the the wind chimes over the chart of brawl space, and uh, the chimes basically point to a region roughly on the opposite side of uh, um, the Crystal Sphere, uh, a little bit past the uh, orbit of the uh, asteroids, the asteroid belt that uh, Brawl is in, uh, and says, uh, it appears that uh, the ship in question, or at least uh, the individual that owns this owned this uh, medallion, uh, is over there. Over where? Basically, oh, right. uh, the opposite side of the, the sun from the crystals here. Yeah, roughly where Yeldon just pinged. Um, oh, they couldn't be close. And no. uh, <laughs> then Dodoros uh, takes hold of the uh, item and uh, casts his spell. Um, and with his eyes closed, he points in a direction that's basically the same same thing, it says, indeed. Uh, now, my spell has uh, also divined that the uh, individual is still alive. Oh, that's, that's good. good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Hell. you guys... Uh, yes? Can I cast Continual Darkness on an arrow and put it inside my belt shift uh, accessibly? How long are arrows? Well, I suppose it's a cubic foot. It doesn't necessarily. I can put it on a dagger, I guess, because considering I'm not going to be able to throw it, uh, shoot it anyway, because I'm going to be blind. That is true. Um, and I mean, you wouldn't be able to uh, throw the dagger effectively either. No, but I'm just throwing it over in that direction, generally speaking. 
They're not going to be able to see where it lands anyway, so... Then, yes. Yes, I guess you could do that. That means I get I can free up my uh, spells. So that's what you want to do? I'm, I'm doing this as preparation, basically. Okay. Um, now, given the uh, uh, location, it will take uh, at least a, a couple days to get over there. How many squares do we cover in a day? Five. On this inner right thing. Um, you guys just want to start heading in that direction? Yep. Yeah, probably guess. Alright, go ahead and uh, I just realized something. Yep. Having a continual darkness dagger in my pouch is really useful Dude. in an emergency. I can just use it to like obscure my viewers uh, being followed just temporarily. Yeah. Or, like, uh, out but... self or something. Keep in mind also that uh, um, it will be... I know I'm blind, but... Well, but it will also eliminate uh, continual light spells. Well, they would cancel each other out. They basically... Does oh. an item cancel a spell area of effect, or one take precedence over the other? Um, usually the newer one takes precedence over the, uh, the older one. Right. Okay. So don't use that around. Don't use that dagger around here, inside the ship. Okay. Uh, oh, the first day see. of sailing is uh, uh, pretty uneventful. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and at the beginning of the next day, um, the uh, uh, two spellcasters from the pots uh, cast their spells again. Um, they move. And they indicate that uh, um, they have moved a bit, but uh, still in the general, that general direction. All right. All right. So you can go ahead and move five more squares. Uh, the very middle is the sun, right? Yeah, but you can still go through that. That's still a lot of space. Okay. It's just, you know, That's a lot warmer. <laughs> Oh, Braxton's going to be getting the uh, crew to do drills or whatever it takes to recover from our losses. All right. Well, we replaced the missing crew member. Yeah. Breaking yeah, them I in. Know, but breaking them in. Yeah. And getting them used to the way you do things on your ship. Yeah. That's, that's right. All right. Uh, Is it worth having a briefing with the uh, Marines to let them know what we're going up against? Well, I mean... I think I probably told them by now. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. probably told the entire crew that uh, you're likely to face Neogi. And Umberhawks. You know, well, I mean, that goes hand in hand. That's you right? going, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although, saying that you're going to go up against Umberhawks wouldn't necessarily mean that you're going up against Neogi. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Um, the uh, next day uh, passes pretty much uneventfully, and uh, you can move another five uh, squares. Five. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm keeping track of that. Yeah, not everyone is, so... Because I have, I'm keeping track of the food and water and air. Okay. Um, this time, uh, when they cast uh, the spell, uh, the spells, uh, they indicate that uh, the ship is roughly over there now. So just pass pass that one line, uh, but the day passes uh, basically uneventfully. Five. Is that another day? Sorry. Yeah, that's another day. Be day four. So two days left on it. How? F uh, where are we? Sorry, I've been have my scout uh, catch sheet up. Where where are we? Where are we going? Someone like draw a line. Yeah, we're, we're they're going. You're going uh, over here right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. Where are we? 
We should be able to see you. Oh, that, oh. Yeah. The battle dolphin. Okay. How many days away is that, vaguely? About one, actually, the current location, but right. it might change after this movement. Yeah, right. it is. It is going to change, and I'm <sighs> figuring that out. Okay. That's why I kind of went straight. Uh, so this morning they've indicated that uh, uh, a ship is over here. Okay. Right. One. Uh, where was it again? Four. Five. We're literally right next. Uh, you could have gotten into that. Could I? Tile, yeah. Okay, cool. Then we're in that tile. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, because like so gotten... so this one right here, you can go into either this one or uh, this one. So any time uh, that there is a uh, you know any kind of overlap, so like okay, this one really could go into this one. Yeah. Oh, so it would have only taken three then. All right. Um, as you are uh, moving through the uh, uh, asteroid belt, you've made it to the other side of the asteroid belt now. Um, uh, you do spot a uh, a ship not uh, typically of Neogi construction. Um, and this is not in that tile just yet. Uh, we could see them. They could see us. Yeah, you drop down to tactical speed, and you can see um, uh, a galleon. Mm -hmm. What flag mm -hmm. is it flying? Uh, it is flagging uh, the flag, uh, uh, flying the flag of Brawl. Okay. okay. Uh, have a look at, uh, or ask one of the elves to take a look uh, through his spyglass to see what they can tell me. And then I'll ask uh, the people. What shift is the, it? The pots, uh, if uh, they know what type of ship we're looking for. Uh, it is second shift. Okay, so Yeldon. No, oh, okay. That would be Braxton, never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, but Yeldon would have already been looking at the ship with his spy class. That's why I asked what, fla what, what flag was it flying? Um, and it Yeldon. Was the flag. Uh, yeah, he, he got that. Um, Yeldon, uh, you see humans, um, on board, at least, you know, human sized humanoids that you're assuming are humans. I don't think technically it could be elves or half elves or a few other things. Doesn't look like our ship, and they're flying the frag of law, and it's not Neo. Yeah, it depends whether they're friendly or not. Um, they might be flying false flag. If you talk to the uh, uh, the pots, uh, they will tell you that they believe they're after, uh, th unless they've changed ships at some point, um, you are after a death spider. Right. Okay. Um, just uh, to interject. Signaling, right? Yeah, Braxton can signal them. Yeah, what was that level? Uh, just uh, that that it doesn't get forgotten that uh, Lever would cast strength on either <clears throat> Braxton or Oka every day. Okay. If possible. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, you were talking about uh. Signaling? Signaling. You can try to yeah. signal over to them? Yeah. Okay. See if they spot a death spider. Um, they report that they are a uh, um, merchant ship from House Leannon. Um, and when you ask them if they've seen a death spider in the area, uh, their response is, number one, no we haven't. Number two... Is this confirmed so that we can get out of here as quickly as possible? Kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Do so, you have a rough idea how close we are to them? Bra Braxton says uh, this is Braxton Miak of the company of the Broken Sword, and we are hunting a, Bra a death spider in this area. Yeah. Uh, they respond 
thank you for the warning. We will uh, leave the area as quickly as possible. Yep. Safe travels. Okay. Uh, you get to the spot where um, the earlier spells indicated the uh, location of the dust spider would be, but you know, obviously, since it's been moving, um, you have not caught up with it yet. Not there. Um, yep. But uh, mm. they go ahead and cast the spells again, and uh, this time uh, the spell is indicating. Uh, so Dodoros decides uh, that he he says that since we're so close, um, he's going to hold off on his spell until later in the day. Okay. Uh, and okay, hopes that that will, that I will... think now we need to decide whether we're going to go in dark or with lights. How this is the last day my temporary healing pressure run out, I assume. So if we don't fight them now, then after recast. Um. Okay. Well, I mean, that's up to you. Are we? Do we plan on fighting them now? I guess I asked about it. Yeah. Well, Depends so on if we get close to him. If we if, see him, we're gonna you, go after him. If you want to say that you refreshed them like two days ago, I don't have a problem with that. I, I, I do that. If okay. I didn't, really, I wasn't getting. I was getting the scope of how far away we were. Yeah. Uh, Braxa says to Higibus, "Okay, do you want to go in all guns blazing, or do you want us to put all the ship's lights out and try and sneak in?" Do you what, think what? a ship like ours would be able to sneak up to them? I mean, if they're flying about, We're are they going to drop out there? Yeah, are they going to? Uh, are they going to notice like when something gets close to them anyway? If they're running around, when we uh, when we're within ten hexes of them, they notice <laughs> the drop to tactical speed. Well, uh, in that case, are they going to be? Are we going to be able to hide from them once we get to that point? No. Okay, well, that's my answer then. Guns uh, blazing and such then. Okay. Well, the uh, other thing is maybe we could, load uh... up uh, the harpoons and see if we can't uh well, yeah. harpoons are going to be good when we, we get got helm seekers, haven't we? Yeah, we, we do have helm seekers. Helm... Yeah. Helm seekers will be good. We could Probably take out load the those up then. The only problem is is they might be using a like They might be using oh, what? what? A life jammer. Uh, for the purposes of helm seekers, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter, but it does matter about who's on the helm. Uh, oh, wow. That well, helm seekers don't quite work that way. I mean, they're still gonna just hit the ship. Oh, okay. Yeah, if they've got someone on a death helm or a life jammer, uh, destroying the helm will free them of being. Having the energy sucked out of them, yeah. so it'll either kill them or it'll stop them stop them hurting that person anymore. True. Uh, way, it's supposedly uh, a you, good act. Is it worth any sort of attempt at subterfuge? We don't have any spells of that I'm grand here. Really... No, but last time, last time we flew up, we had people telling us to hand over cargo. Yeah, but oh, they were expecting us yeah, at that they, they time. Yeah, they were expecting us, and not unless we're flying like a a ship that potentially could be holding well, slaves. And I don't think a battle dolphin is, and there's no point. Specifically, they were expecting the ship that you were in. Yeah, yeah. they're Fair not enough. gonna be expecting us. I'm... Okay. Yep. Just checking. Um, if we happen to be going for an asteroid belt or something, we can try sneaking up on them. But yeah. I don't think I, think I don't think it's asteroid belt, right? You're it's in like an asteroid, asteroid belt, belt, but it's not that dense. I mean, it, it, it's not like the uh, the classic science fiction movie trope of weaving in and out of asteroids. Fair enough. We keep up with the shifts then until we're pretty sure we're on top of them, and then okay, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so we uh, moved if three hex today. So do uh, do our two would be there, right? Do our advisors think we're close enough that it's worth everyone being awake? Um. Well, I mean, you're you move five hexes in a day, and you're two hexes away from 
where the ship is detected uh, at last, you know, in the morning. Um, yeah, you've got at least eight hours uh, of travel time. Okay, so we can make sure everyone's who's not on shift has got enough time to get up and on armor and stuff. Uh, do they have any suggestions as far as how to, to uh, approach or uh, deal with these people? Or any suggestions? Um, Royard and Zarsha uh, say that uh, in their experience, um, if the Neogi don't think they can get away, or if they think that uh, uh, you'll be easy prey and have you know good potential slaves, uh, they will turn and fight right away. Um Otherwise, I'll try to get away. Okay. Uh, okay. Load up the helm seekers, I would guess. Then. How about um, how about we get our crew to try to look like we're a cargo hauler? With three ballistas and two catapults. Also, uh, a battle dolphin. Hole. Battle dolphins are not. Uh, battle dolphins are warships. Yeah, we're it's... a warship. We can't make ourselves look like a cargo hauler. Names in the title of the ship. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, you can still try. I mean, don't don't dismiss it out of hand. I mean, um, it would be unusual, the, I'm, I'm... but you'd have to think of ways to do so. Like, what would you do to disguise the ship as a cargo hauler? I guess cover up the guns for one. Make it yeah. make the guns look like a pile of cargo. Then you'd have to spend a turn clearing away all that. Yeah, that's what true. You fire them. Yeah, that's also that. Okay, maybe not worth it. I just say we just go ahead and head first. You know, laughter's all for adventure. Do okay. I know anything about the maneuverability of a death spider? And um, its capabilities. Or average capabilities, average weaponry and all that stuff. They tend to be pretty heavily armed. Um, maneuverability, given that they're a large ship, isn't great. Um, but it's also not, turns. it's also not it's all. Not better, it's not better than ours? Uh, it is unlikely to be better than yours. Uh, obviously there is magic that can make things better, but it is unlikely to be better than yours. Do we, uh, yeah, do we have a loud dolphins, The bell dolphins steer top of the line, I imagine. What was that question, Braxton? Do we have a loud hailer? A loud hailer? What? I don't know what that What's... is. What is that? Uh, like a megaphone, but just oh, not with not with an electrical one, just like a horn of speaking sort of thing. I mean, yeah, you get speaking cones are pretty easy to make and and buy. I don't know if anyone has thought of buying one, but no, no. What? Why would you? I mean, what would you be doing with one? Uh so when we get in, when we get uh, to grapple with them and have combined air envelopes, we should have someone shouting, fight for your freedom. Okay. Well, I mean, if you have an idea on how to make a uh, speaking no, tone. spells up to that. I don't think... Not that I have access to this spell. Well, but... if, if the slaves can hear us... If the slaves can hear us, we can say, we can let them know that uh, we've come to liberate them. Right, but yeah, I mean, I that's got why that. Braxton want. Yeah, no, I, I, I got that. Get a flag. Do you how have you gonna an idea uh, of how to make one? Yeah, that's the question. Should well, we not have a uh, tinker gnome on board? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Rather the random I guess, tinker gnome invention. I guess, me. I guess we haven't bought one then. Uh, it wouldn't be in uh, wouldn't be in Braxton's communication kit, would it? No, so I know, I know, no one, I know, no one's uh, purchased one. The question is, do you right. have any ideas on how to make one? Uh, Anyone else as well? Piece of metal, roll it up. Yeah, but you're a carpenter. No. Do you have metal that's big enough and flexible enough to do that? I don't think we do. It's not the world where aluminum exists. <laughs> yeah, the 
I think the most flexible metal we have on this ship is gold. That was a joke. Yeah, tin. Tin's pretty flexible. I was joking. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, that's a pretty good one, because gold is one a uh, pretty soft metal. All right, no other ideas? No, nope. not really. Okay. Yeah. So, um, it's not something that Orca could knock up. Uh, I... I don't have the tools to make something like that. Not here. Not okay. here? If it was back at Brawl, I could maybe make something yeah. like that for you? Is cold forging a proficiency? Cold forging. <laughs> no, no, because you can get cold That is forged. a thing. That's an actual thing. It's, yeah. It's, it's like asking without... for cold fusion. Yeah. Not... I guess I guess Braxton will just shout during the fighting. And Ord will make morale checks if Braxton doesn't get shot. <laughs> okay. Um, so any like other that. preparations you guys want to do? Uh, um, you know, if you really want to, uh, why are you trying? What are you trying to talk to these people? Is that what you want? No, he wants. He yeah, wants to. He wants to shout. You know, to the, the to the slaves to try to get them uh, to turn. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm gonna go get my stuff. I'm gonna get all the rune stuff ready so I can add them for the fight. Okay. And yes. I'm gonna have my uh, wolf have its saddle on it, the uh, flying saddle. Oh. Can a dust devil harass their sails? Um, if you could get it to them, yeah. But by the time that you'd be in range to get the uh, dust devil to it, I mean, you need to look at the movement rate of a dust devil as well. Um, they're already in your air envelope, so either they're doing like a shearing attack, or they're trying to ram or grapple or something like that. So, uh, so they don't go away. Yeah, I, I, I get. I Sorry. got that. It was like, so if they try to turn and run, they can't. Uh, yes, uh, Braxton. Uh, are harpoons any use in grappling attempts? That's what they're designed for. Uh, well, I mean, they're designed for uh, killing large fishy creatures and dragging them yeah. to your ship and yeah. stuff like that. They're more, yeah, they're more designed for grappling an animal. Than a ship. How familiar would Leva be with the layout of the Naoki ship? Not very at all. No. It's like. We've so never seen, it so would, what we saw was the Death Spider. It wouldn't be possible to send a Whispering Wind. Um, probably not. Uh, does that all, doesn't that need to, like, doesn't that go to a person as opposed to a place? Oh, I guess it does go to a place too, doesn't it? It, it reaches the location. Yeah, uh, you would not be free in space where there's no wind. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, it would not be able to cross, uh, the, the void. Empty space. Yeah, yeah, it, it says one be, one mile per level, so it will be what right, would it but, be seven but miles. But that doesn't matter because it can't cross the void. There's no air in, it, it, even though it doesn't need wind, it still needs air. Okay. So you'd still have to share an air envelope. What a pity. That would okay. be perfect. Braxton says to the others while we're having our um last ditch planning meeting. How about when we get to the death spider we climb up one of the legs and uh cut a new doorway into their ship to get inside. We'll see how... That will depend on how the combat goes. Yeah. Alright. Um, any other last-minute uh, preparations you guys want to do? I, I... Did I say I was going to have my... Yeah, I'm going to have my rune stuff and my wolf ready. Yeah, yeah you said that. Yeah, yeah I'm just making... Um, I'm going to hand Braxton a bomb. Another bomb. Oh, Another bomb. the last one was if very you, useful. I, I was thinking you might be able. If Lava makes me invisible, I could sneak aboard and put out a nest spell jamming, ring or whatever. All right, I'm good with that. You know, yeah, but... I, I might have something to help you extend the range. You can throw that bomb. I won't I... need to. I'll just drop it. No, uh, I was talking to Bryson. If he... yeah. uh, I have a, uh, there's a sling staff on the ship that you can use to 
fling that thing even further than you can with your hand. If he's got multiple bombs, well, then again, he might kill Paul Lafton. Well, that's probably not a concern of his. The, uh, yeah, the only concern I've got against uh, bombs is we might be blowing up slaves. Yeah, but that's... if if I see a weapon, I can try the weapon. Mm-hmm. Either it's way, bigger... either way, I can offer to you a sling staff to expand. Right, your... yeah, you you lent me that before. I did. Yeah, I ended up not using it because I was kind of on fire at the time. Yeah, but <laughs> you can try it this time, and hopefully there will be less fire. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna have the helm seekers be loaded up first. All right. For the ballistas. Um. Also, what I want is uh have harpoons ready to be loaded in next. Okay. So I have the ropes attached to them. And we should try to avoid that. This is like a spider ship kind of thing, right? The last time we fought one, it uh, it latched onto our ship. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Keep in mind also that uh, um, you may not want the the harpoons. You'll want them ready and you know with the ropes tied and everything like that, but maybe not necessarily next because that'll depend on okay, yeah, how close true. you are yeah. and stuff like that. The harpoons uh, but, I mean, are like, not ready. gonna be effective against the ship. Hey, Lever. Yeah. All we Could need you... to do is hit the ship and punch to the hull, so we it sticks. The but we... uh, like the the ship will will either tear part of your ship apart or something like that. I mean that that's it's and it also won't do very much damage. It, they're just not very effective. Oh, okay. Ships. I mean, so uh, so they would they would be good to use for like a grappling type of thing. I mean, if if you were trying to the ship, uh, it, it might be with a whole bunch of them or something like that, or um. Uh, in combination with grapples and stuff like that, but I mean, it, okay. you know, you're you're talking about when you're already at close range and stuff like that. Okay, uh, then maybe not. Um, Hig- I guess, Higgins. yeah. How how about um, we start off with the helm seekers and then we have our crew target the ship's weapons with normal uh, blister bolts, and then we can order. Hulk strikes to have them switch to harpoons and shoot um, Hulks. Yeah. All right. At any time. Okay. I, I was thinking to latch onto the ship, but if they're not going to work for that, then it's not going to be an issue. All right. Yeah, well, I, I thought that as well. Harpoon, but... I thought that as well, but it might be more useful to take out their weapons as fast as possible. All right, um, Laftel, you were trying to ask uh, Leva a question? Uh, hmm? Yeah, uh, Leva, could you make me invisible? Yes. Do you want to fly across? Uh, that would help, because I plan on using silence on a dagger and basically cancelling out their spellcasters by okay. just being around invisible, I... silenced, and flying. I memorized fly and uh, and invisibility both, <clears throat> so I could have you fly. As I remember, fly the wizardless fly is normal speed, isn't it? Yeah, but you don't have a great maneuverability. That's uh, that's up to Laftal. I'm just looking for the speed, but isn't the doesn't your fly spell slow you down a bit? Uh, my, my, mine's out to self. I can out myself to fly over. I'm just not very fast. Oh, okay. Then, then I suggest that I just make you fly. Yeah. And invisible. And uh... yeah, it'll take multiple rounds. That gives me time to cast a few buffing spells to the party as well. Yeah. And my fly lasts you one turn per level and one d six turns. And maybe, maybe you get put on fire. You uh, some of these spells you might want to wait until you actually spot yep. the mm-hmm. uh, ship. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to take a few yeah. rounds to get in close to you anyway. So yeah, I wait for Laftal to tell me when he wants me to 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 cast those spells. Yeah. Um, let's, let's not forget invisibility. This. Can she cast spells targeted at me if I'm invisible? I can she make me fly? You probably oh, have to fly first and then invisibility. Fly yeah, is no, touch based. So as long as she can touch me, as long as, as, long as she can as touch you, yeah. I mean, yeah, she can. You, you can. You can walk up to her and and have her 
put her hand on you and then cast it kind of thing. That's fine. Okay, let's do that. Because I can be invisible for 24 hours, and um, as long as I'm not doing anything hostile, I can cast buffing spells, so that's like another turn as well. Less. Mm. Just don't make yourself glow. I'm not farming <laughs> on you, hopefully. Okay, so you guys are... Uh, you think you're prepared? Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, one thing I'd... Do the opposite. Yes, one Braxton. Thing I'd... We're as prepared as we can be. Yes, Braxton. Yeah, one thing I'd say to everyone else is don't forget there's a slim chance that we might encounter another ship before we encounter the ship we're after. So we don't want to we don't want to blow off all our special abilities and uh, do it on the wrong ship. What do you well, mean another ship? Would somebody else be flying around in a death spider? Well, we just no, no, they they won't. But if we see a ship. Yeah, you just saw a merchant ship. If He's saying ship, that, that yeah, he... we just saw a merchant ship. There might be another merchant ship right close to them. We expect you to recognize those. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, just hold off till you got it confirmed. Hey, old. Yeah. Yes, Lapnel. Is my continual darkness still affecting my dagger? Um, you already cast it and you put it in your pouch. Yeah, I just checked to see if it's still in effect. Yes. All right, now put it back. That's right. Okay. What time is it anyway? Time. In time. In the game. Yes. Uh, well, you guys haven't started moving yet, so. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm just I'm waiting till this is all done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I mean, this is all happening in in the morning, essentially. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Um, One of my plans is that once we're in closer range, I plan to hop on my wolf and try to charge one the emerald just only with my with my lance. Okay. Um, all right, so you guys uh, begin to travel in the, uh, you know, towards where uh, the ship was indicated. Everyone to stop. Yeah. Uh, just Brax, go too Brax forward. reminds now. Oka that his wolf okay. can't fly at spell jamming speed. That's why I said once we're close enough. Because <laughs> we're going to go in and, and get in the melee combat, I imagine. Yep. Okay. Um... So once you get to the uh, location indicated, uh, Dodoros casts his uh, his spell um, and uh, points in a uh, direction, and you get uh, your helmsman to go in that direction. Uh, is this? Let's see. So it's shift one right now. So Nor is on uh, on the helm. Um, Should be Higuma Soccer and Lever. Yeah. Um, Yeldon, Braxton, and Laftal, you guys would still be uh, asleep and, you know, in hopes of uh, getting as much sleep as possible, right? Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but we did say we want to wake people up slightly before to give people a chance to put their armor on. Yeah. All right. Um, you keep going, uh, and it does uh, transition over to uh, second shift. Uh, you're still going in the direction that uh, uh, Dodoros indicated. Uh, now, just so you guys know, every time he's uh, casting the spell, he's got a, a wooden rod um, with a, a bright light on the end, uh, which, uh, you know, disintegrates upon casting. Wow. Uh, so he's casting him. He's, uh, he, he, well, he casts a spell on the rod and then casts the spell. Uh, his divination spell. Um, and uh, since you were, you guys were so close, uh, he's actually uh, got a couple more of those spells available. Um, and he uh, once second shift uh, takes over, uh, he casts an, another one. And the direction is slightly changed. Um, and you keep going. And Yoda, after a... can you see anything with your uh can't uh, see you can't see much of the spell James telescope either. if you look at the no you can't see anything moving against the star field uh not at spell jamming speed no, okay. I mean you can see planets and stuff like that but uh you can't see other ships at spell jamming speed it's 
Fair enough. It's just not not really possible. You're moving too fast. They're moving too fast. But after about an hour, uh, you do drop down to uh, tactical speed, and uh, crew on watch uh, shouts out, Death Spider, ahead! Oh, hands on deck. Yeah, I do Prepare the general to repel borders. Oops, I'm sorry. Or is this, wait, this is Braxton's thing. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you, you probably, you wouldn't have uh, gone to sleep because you're, you were expecting any time now yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. so general I quarters. had my armor ready and everything. Yeah, my, I'd be invisible, right? No. Yep, you can be yet. invisible if you wanted. Yeah, because you, you wanted to be invisible hours, already. So I don't... Oh, that's true. Yeah, you want it now? Yeah. Uh, okay. I I assumed you would have cast it ahead of time if we were gonna. You know, yeah, yeah, I said I, I, I was going to wait for you to tell me when you want it because you're the we... one who actually acts on it afterwards. So uh, you tell oh. me. Are we within Helmseeker range, Old? Um, Helmseekers get you, you fire them and then and they they just go in the direction until they detect something within its uh, forward arc of fire. Yeah. So I mean, Where they just the... keep moving. I'm I'm about to get it on. <laughs> is is that a yes? <laughs> well, I mean. It might they might move out of Helmseeker range, uh, yeah. forward arc of That's fire, it. but um, you you can absolutely fire them right away if you want. It's not worth it because they don't be uh, moving. They're they're I mean, uh, you, how many you got you got the ballista go four six. All right, so well, I'll leave it. Missiles keep going. Yeah. yeah. So if you fire them now, they'll keep going in the same direction, and then as soon as they detect something in their forward arc of fire, they will they will start following. I think we should do it. Shoot them. Let's go. Let's go. You want to fire all the weapons right now? No, just no, the helm seekers. Just the yeah, helm seekers. To... Okay, if that's what you guys want to do, uh, I will uh, encourage everybody. The best I can is like, all right. People, these are uh, dangerous uh, slavers. Let's give them a go and uh, get those uh, people out. That's what I would be doing if we're in some sort of combat action thing. All right. Well, Don't uh, shoot Lafto. We'll go ahead and uh, get uh, um, uh, get initiative uh, rolled. Yeah, we do an initiative for the ship. Yeah. Yes, and. Uh, someone, so basically fire. someone click on the ship and then, uh, use the initiative what? macro, what? and the modifier is going to be... Hold on a I second. can't seem to click on... Oh, I'm clicking on I got it. their ship. I got it. Oh. <laughs> it would help if I clicked on our ship. Your maneuverability class is D, correct? Yep, we didn't get the sales <sighs> maneuverability. Okay, so it's 12. 12? Yeah. Right. Now, are they flying towards us right now? They are Looking facing towards you, yes. Cool. That means it's a little... Take them a bit to run away. Unless they decide they can take on a bell dolphin. Probably worth taking that. They recuperate their losses somehow, haven't they? And then they, they, re and then they see the hippo and realize, oh god, no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just called that temp. Hold on a second. Let me, uh... We killed all those Neoki. There was no survivors. It was a joke. I know. There we go. Now it's showing up properly. The hilt in the, uh, um... Uh, in the... Uh, turn order. The turn order. Yep. Uh-huh. All right. And... Uh, uh... They are moving before you. Oh, question. Yes. This, this is important, actually. Is Leva is making me invisible, or has she made me invisible? She already made you invisible. All right, fine. Any other questions? Nope. Okay. All right, and let me actually get to my notes on the ship. Hold on just a second. 
Are we going to be fighting on deck plans when we get to it? Uh, if it comes to it, yes. Yeah, no, I was just wondering, because obviously I'm, cast I'm going to be casting Silence on my dagger and placing it somewhere on the ship, so... Yeah. doesn't have to be your dagger, it just has to be a dagger. Yeah, I know, I've got seven daggers. <laughs> Typical thief. Eh, you can never have too many daggers. Yaldin's gonna be, once he actually gets the proficiency, stocking up on daggers too. Great for taking out mages and such. So they move forward. Alright, so they are, uh, um, they are moving forward. And... Okay, they, uh... They do not, uh, uh fire their weapons. Um... Is anyone, uh, Yeldon, are you using your, your spyglass? Yeah. Okay. Um, you see that uh, uh, on the thorax part of the vessel, um, a large hatch is starting to retract. I'm bringing out something big. Okay. Or another ship. I guess they have weapons too. Oh, I, think uh, well, I don't. Do the do spiders have a secondary ship? I mean, most, especially big ships, have weapons. Uh, you guys can go ahead and uh, move. So, how do we want to move? Do we want to turn, then move, or do we want to just move forward? You're going to move, uh, Hugimus? How do you guys want to move? Yeah, uh, so forward, okay. or what? Did you I'm, say the hatch was on the underside? Old. Top side. Top side. Top side. We're not really doing 3D. Alright, how many spots can we move forward, Old? What's your SR? Uh, that's up to you, because... No, it's not. We've got... Um, MP. We've got second shift, so it's... It's uh, determined by... Oh, Paris her. Arbador's SR. Plus we have that rudder. Yeah, the well, rudder gives us plus one. He is third level, so... He's the same level as Nor. Okay. So what's our SR? Uh, that's gonna be... I thought I gave we it... We got a major you. helm. I, didn't, didn't it... Isn't it not written down? On major your... helm uh, that's ship is, rating, uh... right? Yeah, ship's rating. That's blank on our sheet. Character sheet. Oh, okay. Then, uh, I... But Major Helm is, is one per two. Yeah, so you got two. Two, and then two is plus it plus one? one from... so oh, it's three. it's one plus one, right now, because third oh. level they move at one. Okay, so okay. it's two. Yeah, so when they go when up a level, level, if if when... they go up a level, we get two out of them. Yeah. They are spell jamming helms when they're not very high level. So just try and move forward a couple, and then. Just move forward a couple right now. You can do a free turn at the end if you want. Okay. Does that sound good to everybody? Am I hearing yeah, anything? let's turn. Let's mm -hmm. turn upwards <laughs> so that we can intercept them. Yep. Okay. Kind of like that. Now, yeah. which way do we want to fire the ballista? Does it matter? Oh, yeah, I do need the. Uh... Are they in range of the normal weapons yet? No. 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 But you wanted to fire the ballistas right away. If you predict no, fire, it's... and then that cuts off their mini maneuvering options, they might not go into that area. Let's hold off on the regular weapons until we're within range. Well, yeah, you fired the helm seekers right away, though. You... Yeah, we'll we'll be reloading, won't we? How far yeah. did the ballistas shoot? Six. Six. Which way did we shoot them? It matters. You shoot after you move. Yeah. We not. I don't think we're going to be shooting this round. Yeah, I think we should hold fire this round. You should hide your thing. You got the helm seekers. Yeah, yeah. fire the helm seekers. No, you. All right, we're firing the helm seekers now. You, you, yeah, that's what we're you move about. and then fire. You don't fire okay. and then move. Okay. Can our let's just make it right here because I don't. I think if we aim that's them right sticky. here, that's the helm seekers. The next round, they would be able to seek out the because it's they move six every round, right? Old. Or is it one every round after the initial fire? They move at the same rate of their fire, so six. 
Six. Okay. So they move right here. The next turn, they move forward one. They move forward two. If they, and then they just turn, turn it doesn't matter. The Helm Seekers will be able to follow. I think. Yeah. What's What's the range on the Helm Seeker in hexes? Six. Six. I'm pointing. It's no, the no, same no. What's as, the It's the same as the detection the range. Well, that you you don't really know that. Right. I think we fire him right here. here. Yep. Okay. Let's do that then. Um, fire him right here. They should be able to. Where you're pointing is too far. Okay. Well, can somebody do the arrow thing? Yeah. Measure out. Oh, I'm invisible. <laughs> what? My browser keeps. Is that six? Six right there. I can't see. Six. Okay. So right here. How about we shoot him right here? That's a six point one hex. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> It's okay. fine. Okay. Act. So uh, you fire the two uh, Helm Seekers. And mm -hmm. let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. Move my turn order. I must resist okay. the urge to add uh, Star Trek. Uh... <laughs> fire the full hot torpedoes! <laughs> okay, and these are were these these are medium uh, ballista, right? Yeah. Okay, yep. so you need three turns oh. to reload. Three Somebody rounds, had three two frags in you if you weren't going to. Okay. Well, we have still one. Should we fire off loaded. the ballistas too? Uh, at like different locations, in case they try to turn. Or... No, I say I say we wait till they're within range. I mean, not supposed to start the catapults. Uh, the catapults. As well. I say we wait one more round. One more catapults round take then... two rounds to uh, reload, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but when when uh, weapons are just free fired, um, once they've moved beyond their initial range, um, they don't have as high a chance to hit. Oh, okay. Yep. Never mind then. I say we right. wait one more round for not conventional weapons. Hey. I, I think you should wait until they're within range for your regular weapons. Yeah, well, let's wait till yeah, they're within okay. range. All right, let's oh. wait. Yes, Lapel. Uh, I, I, I asked Lever, because Lever might have to do a precision check. Can I start casting Dust Devil? Uh, it takes two rounds to cast, so yeah. What's the yeah. what's duration on it? That's That might be a bigger uh, concern. Yeah, that's... Well, it basically lasts 10 rounds. Okay. Um, also, uh... I want to know if that's considered hostile summoning. Because I'm not attacking anyone, but the creature itself... Well, depends on the action of the creature. Yes, uh, it would be. Um, because one of the primary points of it is to attack things. Alright, never mind then. <laughs> you might so, want to matter. start casting you know... Blast. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, we're in right. That was my second option. I am actually casting less. Can like, wait so until I get people... they're a little bit closer, too. How, yeah, I wasn't sure how many rounds away we are from because I mean, our six rounds. You don't know exactly how uh, many rounds away you are, but uh, um, guess, yeah, I mean, you can make a guesstimate based on the distance between the two ships, and we move what to. We yeah, yeah no, I'll wait a couple more rounds here. Yeah, okay. By the looks of it. All right, go ahead and roll for initiative. <laughs> there it goes. It's at 12, right? Yes. Yep. I can cast buffing spells like Battle Fate. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, sorry. It, it's depending on how you look at it. I wasn't sure. Okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, move. Okay. Uh, do we want to move up to people? My, yeah, if it's up, of course. Yeah. I don't okay. think we need to turn. All right. Don't need to turn. Uh, well, we okay. turn soon. We want to make it so that they can't get past us. Okay. Do our arrows move? Uh, they move after all the ships move. Oh, okay. And I, I just moved the background because I was on the wrong layer. <laughs> that doesn't matter as much. Yeah, it doesn't matter on this one. 
I don't know why. I I, I kind of wish that there would be a big warning of, by the way, you're on the uh, the map layer. Are you sure you want to move the map? But no. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Maybe they could put in a a lock feature. So you could lock a layer. Yeah. yeah, that would be nice. All right. Given that, they uh. Let's see, do they need to move forward one before they turn? No. I don't. think we All do. Right. Is no, you don't. Mobility. You no, you did not. when you were on the uh um other. Out of the barge. Yeah. Oh, they're turning. They're running. Okay. All right, go ahead and uh, roll for initiative, unless there's... Uh, oh, actually, the uh, uh, this the needs to told. move. Uh, they might have a higher SR than us. Well, in that case, that means the meal level would have to get on the hell. Yeah. Or one of the other guys, if they want to do it. Okay, at this Speaking point... Speaking of, should we mention it to them? Mention what? If they wanted to go on the helm. If that ever became an option, if they're not going to participate in the fighting, your spellcasters, the the pops? the other spellcast, yeah, the um, they would have told you, uh, like Dodoros uh, says that he has a phobia against spell jamming. <laughs> like, he, he has a <laughs> genuine Wait, phobia really? towards, towards being on helm. Um, well, you lose all your ma magic temporarily, so I can understand. And yeah, Tamelodan just tells you that uh, he has absolutely no experience whatsoever. Um. And, and... Uh huh. Yeah. All right. I get the idea of what you're implying. <laughs> you're not giving us more helm spellcast. I mean, if if one of your spellcasters wanted to be on the helm, he'd get more. But I'm, you know. Yeah. I know. It's, you can't make use of NPCs. <laughs> but keep in mind also that both of them have cast spells today. It reduces their SR anyway. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah they've been casting their scrying spell stuff. And you don't know if they've cast any uh, personal protective spells or anything like that either. Mm. Okay. Uh, initiative time. I'm trying to remember what the opposition schools for diviners is. <laughs> it's just conjuration summoning. Ah, uh, so they still got, like, fireballs. Yeah, well, they could. In theory. In theory, yes. Evocation's still a thing. <laughs> Did you check for wild searches level variation on on the invisibility and? I did Sorry. not. I did forget. Uh, I'm not concerned about that right now, though. Uh, since I did forget, <laughs> we're already in this okay. con in this this battle, and that could, you know, really change yeah. things pretty significantly. Now, who did yeah. you cast? That 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 is a good point, though. Who did you cast strength on today? Uh, whoever was on the same shift sure. as I was. So Ocker. Yeah, in that case, okay. So I have strength and the rune. Okay. Maybe not. Yeah, well, well, you never know. Um, that might actually, right given, that, given that Ocker has that helmet, you should probably cast it on Braxton because you don't know how that's going to uh, interact. And I'm uh, not going to tell you without trying that. Okay, so uh, Leva cast it on, on Braxton. Okay. She sneaks into his room and casts a spell on him. <laughs> I mean, you could have you could have waited until he got up. I mean. <laughs> Don't make it creepy. Don't make it creepy. <laughs> For ten minutes, she sat there and went. Doo, 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 oh, doo, 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 Michael's her fingers. I could have made you. All right, Braxton, Braxton, you yeah. have a strength of uh, eighteen. That's uh, plus one to hit, plus two to damage total. Eighteen yeah. zero zero. No, not 18, zero, 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 18. Plus one to hit, plus zero damage. No, plus two to damage. Plus two. Hmm. Is 18 and 18, zero, one different for fighters? Yes. Yeah. Because I thought it always defaulted to 18, zero, one. No. Mm -hmm. 18, yeah. zero, zero. Um, no, so, yes, except uh, um, I'm not doing that with the strength spell because um, I'm considering uh, 17 a step, 18 a step, 1810 to be the next step, 1820 to be the next step, etc. Because right. it gives you plus X number of points up to a certain amount. Yeah, okay. Get, what, D8? It is, let's see. Are they running away? They're running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
We must chase them. All right. We must. Well, no, they're not necessarily running. They might be trying to avoid that shot. Where are they facing now? They can outrun it, yeah. Down to us? Not down to you. Yeah. No, they're facing uh, across. This way. Mm. Okay. We just Let's keep moving forward. All right. Your turn. So wait, how does the, right, does the bolt move straight. at the end of the round? The we ballista bolts move at the end of the round, and the ballista bolts. Uh, so, keep in mind that that this is like uh, uh, think of the the Star Trek episode where one ship passed in front of the other to uh, distract a guiding uh, photon torpedo. That can happen. Oh yeah, we shouldn't uh -huh. get into the path. But, Be uh... careful. Yeah, that's a no, good the... point, actually. No, no, no. The 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 helm seeker's gonna hit it first. Unless they've got some invisibility spell. Not unless they've been holding back their SR rating. Can they do that? Yeah, they can. You don't have to travel oh. at your maximum SR. Oh, yeah. then that's a good point. I reckon we should start going across wise. If it's gaining on them for this time, the... it's still maintain a distance. The speed change is depending on your maneuverability class. Uh so just keep that in mind. Um Alright, so You've moved. Yep. Right. We're not in range. Yet. Are our weapons within range? They're not, are they? Not yet. They're seven hexes away. Yeah. Okay. We move in for another round. Before um. Oh, that's good. Okay. So oh, yeah. the uh the two um, uh, ballista bolts uh they do turn and follow the vessel um. Ocker and Braxen, give me attack rolls. Are they automatic kits, so to speak? Or they're not they automatic kits. They, they, do they have to try to hit. They're, they're... Oh, they can fly past. Yeah. Uh, oh! So just, so just a d20? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I've got a decent roll number for once. <laughs> Mine's not bad either. Okay. Um... Ten. You see through uh, uh, Yeldon, especially through the spyglass, you see these uh, two streaking ballista bolts uh, slam into the rear of uh, the ship. Uh, and the two of you give me a 1d3 each. Is this damage? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hell damage. Uh. <laughs> okay. It averages out between the two of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, um, the enemy ship takes a total of four points of uh, hull damage. And time to uh, roll initiative again. Starting to get exciting. Well, we're going to be in combat range after this next move. Mm. It's probably going to be like, let's go take the fight to them now. now that we've hit the point. Is this something any of us would know if life jammers can move at a particular speed? As in, can they be amplified to consume the host faster? Uh, faster? No, but they, uh, the more powerful, the bigger uh, creature is put inside them, oh. the faster the ship moves. They can sacrifice the number hook. So yeah, so so you would know, uh, you guys would know that, uh, uh, like if they normally have a slave on board in, in one of those, uh, they could pull the slave out and put a number hulk in, and they would get more speed. Mm. They're probably gonna do that after what we did. Now maybe, I maybe will not. say that you know that life jammers themselves uh, usually cannot, uh, at, at least of the the common variety, the ones that you know of. Uh, can't move uh, a ship this big. Yeah, it's got to be... This is more than 50 tons, isn't it? Mm -hmm. is, yeah. Is there, is there, like, greater life jammers or something? Like how we have that greater spell jammer on our bow dolphin? Death Helms, uh. I believe, can move 100 tons. Um... Yep. I'm not going to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to cheat. I don't think Braxton will be an expert on... Helms. On helms used by evil people. No, you you wouldn't be. Not yet. All right, uh, go ahead and uh, move your ship. How? What's All the right. range of the catapult? Still straight. Uh, yeah, yeah. and then maybe yeah, we turn. Straight. Maybe we turn the next round. Okay. 
And I suggest we shoot. Well, yeah, if we're uh, if we're within range, we should shoot. We're gonna get shot back out, so tell people to take cover. Yeah, take cover, shoot the ballistas, right? Well, are the catapults six six uh, hexes as well? Uh, yes. catapults are five. Five. Oh, catapults are five. Okay. One more round to the catapults. Uh. Oh, well, can I we move we forward only... one? I think we should only want fire one ballista, and that way we can alternate one ballista per round. Did can you we move two? forward and then fire everything? Did you move two? That is what we were doing before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we were two. doing one ballista per round, and then one catapult per round. So we could we could go back to doing that. Yeah, let's do that. One, one, one See, per round. Even though it's a good idea, it's kind of like handicapping us not firing all of our damage. Not yes, but it also means that we constantly have a weapon and we're not easier. waiting there. Yeah. All right, it so you're, you're firing all of your ballista? Fire. No, just one. One ballista. One. Okay. Someone make the attack roll in. Uh, okay. Can I, I encourage this. them? Oh, yeah, get, go ahead and give a uh, um, leadership check. Okay, just one check. Yeah, that'll change the bonus. Whether you get a plus one or not plus one. Oh, man, we'll see. Uh, wait, had the laughter got his bless off? What's no, your. Uh... Casting it. Yeah, uh, 14's what I was aiming for, so yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's a plus one? Yep. I'm going to be casting it in the round after this, or next round. <laughs> All right, yeah. uh, you fire off uh, uh, one of your ballista, uh, but it does uh, sail between the legs of the ship. And let's see. They're probably going to fire back us. I'm watching. The, what, has anything come out of that hatch that opened up? Uh, no, but you can see two catapults. Uh there in the hatch. Okay. Okay. Uh, Seems like see. an ideal go... place to place my dagger. That's dark. Mm. Even though it won't matter when we're that close anyway. Yeah, Ooh. catapults have a uh, short range. Minimum range. Okay. Oh, yes. It's turning to meet us. That's cool. Can it no, we or it's, It looks like it's probably going to try to ram us. We want to dodge that. All right, so uh, they fire their two uh, catapults. Brace for impact. What's your uh, ship's armor rating? Look at the character sheet. Uh, hang on. Five. Okay, uh, two large stones come hurtling through uh, space. Uh, slamming into your ship. Uh, oh. First one hits for six hull points of damage. Ow. Ow. They're heavy. So and it's... the second one hits for eight hull points of damage. <laughs> God! That's Holy... a lot of repair. Six and eight. It's got pretty big weapons. It rolled high as well. Anyone doing the whole points? Or shall I do them? Oh, you've done them. Someone's done them. Yeah. All right, go Does ahead. They have to reload now. That's weeks of repairs. Yeah. Uh, I say we fire all weapons now. Repairs on Brawl are one day per hull point, just so you know. And that's kind of yeah, what, uh, the pots, job, which won't yeah, the pot said that they the they pay for. Yep. Uh, so go ahead and uh, roll initiative. Do we get salvage if we drag this ship back? Oh, Jesus. So to speak. Oh, no. See, this okay. is why I told you guys we should have fired at them all. Uh, <laughs> we can I'm... do that this round. I'm casting Bless this round. They're going to be uh, on top of us. That's fine. We okay, actually works fire. better for us. Uh, bless will still go off in your... Uh, well, it goes off at the end of the round, so... Yeah. All right. They might be moving three hexes. Nice. Right, mm. right let's, mm. let's let's fire all the weapons now because they're oh, close. Yeah. not our no. go probably unless it is. Uh, it is not. It might be not range of catapult. Just keep clicking on the wrong layer. Let's see. <laughs> 
They're not quite within, uh, um, they don't quite get to you, but, uh, they only have those two uh, catapults that you can see on the front, so they are not able to uh, do anything else. So I suggest what we do is we turn, then move forward one. So it is your turn. You and must be able to turn again. Hang on, right. if we move into their hex, that means we can't fire the catapults. We can't fire the catapults anyways. Sure okay. Okay. You can fire if they're one hex away. That you just can't fire into the same hex. Okay. So I'm thinking, you said we, we can't to... fire before we move. Correct. You have to move first. Can we turn? It takes one move, Ethar, to turn, then move forward, right? Yeah. If we do that, we're not going to be able to fire the blister or the catapults. But can can we stay still and fire all the weapons? That, that means be... they're going to ram us, so... Uh, yeah. Let me see. Hold on a second. Uh, sure speed be... change of two, and you're at two, so yeah, you can drop to zero. You can come to a full stop. But if we do that, we're going to be rammed, just so you know. Yeah. How much um, do they have a ram? I'd rather just not fire the catapults and move out of the way of the ram. So nope. we could turn, move one over here, then turn, and then since we get a free turn at the end, we can turn again face that way. Well, hurry up and, and decide. Can we do that and fire all weapons, Ord? Do what? I'm sorry. Can we turn yeah, and one time. dodge to one side and fire all the weapons? Uh, if they're within your firing arc. Right, so what's the firing arc of all weapons? Uh... Be the front th three hexes, right? Uh, let me see. Hold on a second. Uh... Hang on. We've got a thing with fire and arc, so. Yep. Do you have the, uh, the listing for what the firing arcs your weapons have is? I think one <sighs> of the ballistas can't shoot onto the other op like opposite because they're on the two observation platforms. Right? Yes, they are. I think, I think we've got one stinger weapon that you said could only fire. No, we don't have it. We never got that. We never got but the stinger. ballista okay. on the uh, on the hill is also is on a turret, so it has a hundred. It can fire in all directions. The two uh, catapults are uh, front right, and then the other one is front left, and then uh, the two two catapults ballista. are forward starboard port. They they've got everything but rear. They got oh, all okay. three. It's okay. the ballistas that I limited. Yeah, so it looks like you'll get two ballista and two catapults if you have they're they're all loaded. I mean, can yeah. you? Okay. They're um, all loaded except the. You only you one. fired one ballista. We fired one last round. And you didn't specify which one. So I'm gonna roll to see which one you fired, because so that it's not retroactive. Um, okay, hold on a second. I think we would have fired the. You fired the one on one. the. You, you fired the one on the. Uh, um, uh, on the shuttle, dolphin shuttle. Okay, so that since you didn't specify through. which one you were firing, I just rolled so because otherwise, one of those could yeah. not fire. So. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move us. All right. See, so yeah, anytime you're firing just one, you'll need to specify which one you're you're firing so that you can you know try to anticipate. What uh -huh. arcs you'll need. Alright, can we fire all the ones that we have available? Yeah, so one ballista and two catapults. Do I need to uh, encourage people again? Uh, yes, go ahead and do that. Okay. I don't remember exactly what the rules are about that, but that's fine. I'll, we'll just do it this way for now. So, I guess... Give him a second. <laughs> I also get Lebo to start casting Flam if she's available yeah, to do that. Up. Okay. Lebo, do you want to I... cast Fly on? Yep. Okay. If uh, Lafka cast... wants me to. How, how far away are we from the other ship? Uh, you're not within. Distance. You're, you're not. Uh, uh, air envelopes haven't merged. Basically, any ra uh, handheld missile weapons and spells uh, cannot be used unless uh, the ships are in the same uh, hex. 
And let me do for level variation. Fly one turn per level and one d6 turns. Oh, right. turns. So, do you want us yes, to turn? Yes, turns. Oh, ages. Hey, hold on, for the hold on, just a second. Hold on, just a second. Give me. Let's let me finish up individual tasks before we move on. Um. Okay. So. Your seventh level, right? Level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You know, wild surge as well. I, uh, there wasn't a wild surge, but uh, it's one turn per level, and then one d six. Correct. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So right. basically, so I just an hour. It yep, 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 yep. I see it. I see it. All right. Um. Yeah. I got. I'll make a note of that because you won't know exactly how long that's going to last. <laughs> oh, yeah, because there's a level variation. <laughs> well, and, and there's a random component to it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I mean, you know the minimum, so... Oh, he doesn't. He knows the minimum. Lover knows around a... He knows a minimum, but he doesn't know whether that is the minimum. Yeah, I know the minimum is twenty minutes. The minimum is twenty minutes. He knows that that's the minimum. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, so three uh, attacks. Who's going to make the attacks? You'll get the plus one, one. I'll do the ballista. Okay, Braxton with the catapult. I guess. I'll and there's one more catapult. catapult. Yes. And then I'll do the other catapult. I got it. Yeah, okay. Already got it. All right. Uh, so okay. the ballista. Uh, shot goes wide, but uh, the two uh, catapults do smash into the hull of the Death Spider. That is going to be 1d3 plus 1, Braxen Yeldon. Each. They've got heavy compost. <laughs> Again. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so uh, your two catapult shots smash into uh, the vessel. Actually, let me double check something. Uh, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. And now it is time for initiative. Uh, bless has gone off then. Yes, six. everyone has Bless now for six rounds. Six, six rounds, yeah. That's actually going to be for the catapults and stuff. Because I imagine so, the catapult crews and the ballistas crews are in range. Or does he have to pick one or the other? Well, at least it's not I don't think ten. I'd be able to run over to every single ballista crew and bless them. Um, <laughs> it could either be... It could, it, it could either could be... It could either be the ballista crews or the catapult crews. Catapult crews. Okay. No, it, ballista crews. No, no, no ballista crews. The ballista crews. All right, and it yeah, can be all the cruises. party members. I'm fine with that. You, you guys got yeah. in, into that, so that's fine. Alrighty, and yeah. don't forget, don't forget, we lose catapults at short range. Yeah, I remembered that at the last second. That's why I changed it. Why does my browser constantly keep refreshing? It's like every five minutes. What browser are you using? Chrome. No idea. It's never done this before. You're using the Conan add-on. Uh, yeah. is there um, is there a Check your um, F keys. I can't remember what F key it is, but one of them is the refresh button, and it might. Yeah, be I know. That's F five. You could. It's not. You could always uh, quit out of it and open it back yeah, up. Yeah, I'm gonna force refresh it. Quit out. Okay. What happened? All right. Um, you can go ahead and move. Oh wait, we're going first. All right. So Four where are we going, current. people? Are we any good at grappling? Where do you guys want to go? No. Uh, maybe for a twice turn? You know, if it's fast enough, like that, you can just make a break. Yeah, point. that's what I was thinking. Is that what we're we Oh, I moved it, so that's what yep. I did. All right, that sounds good. And... Do we have any weapons ready or no? Uh, one Doesn't ballista it... still, I think. Or no, that ballista is still not in range. So, so no. what about the weapon we couldn't fire last time? Can we fire that now? No, it's not still on the other side. Yeah, it's still on the other side. If you turn Doesn't the other way, then it have... might have. It might have mattered. Yeah. But... We are firing weapons. I'm sorry. 
What's their ship? And they had heavy catapults that shot at us, but yeah. So Could now, we... now you're uh, passing around behind the uh, the back, and you can see that a much larger hatch is open here. Uh, you can see <laughs> inside there. Uh, number one, there are three um, spiky balls, large spiky balls, kind of like the uh, the ones that you saw on Green Shield. Um, they appear to be at rest. There are some uh, uh, crew. There's a whole lot of crew actually running around in that open deck, but above that are some other weapons that are clearly going to uh, fire at you uh, as soon as they... Are they bombards? He's enjoying this. Uh... <laughs> are those bombards? Yeah, we should just rush in and uh, board them. Yeah, I'm... I think we should go in and try to oh, board them. It's a little them. late now. Um, late now. I people want to run around to shoot stuff, so... They think they've got a greater firepower, so, so they're just going to fire so. us. Some of us suggested grappling. Okay. Uh, so, they, uh, uh, two catapult shots and a uh, ballista shot come uh, flying out towards you. And... Doo -doo -doo. One of the catapult shots uh, does go wide. Uh, flies uh, right above uh, top of your vessel. But another catapult shot uh, comes in, smashes into your hull for four points of damage. And we, re we really need to grapple with them. The ballista shot uh, slams into your vessel for three points of damage. So does Lava want to give up her spells is the real question, because... We don't need her to give up her spells, do we? Yeah. If we're SR. maintaining the same... Sp yeah, I think we can't catch up with them now. No. We're going to be tailing them. Well, so basically... I come at it, uh, who knows? Yeah, but look at the ship. How well, much it's going to cost now. Levis cast spells yeah, as we're well. We're almost halfway, and once we get halfway, we're going to be in a big disadvantage. we got to stay within 10 hex of them, but don't forget Levis cast spells. So it's I'm left a... Yeah, I've cast one spell. But I'm only level five, so what's the difference between me and Lava? Go ahead and roll initiative. Laughter, we need you to go across and uh, and do what you meant to do. Oh, well, yeah, that's... Yeah, but we've got to be able to get there in the first place. You have to be in the... Uh, well, he doesn't have to be in the same hex for that, but there's an, almost no point in trying doing it if he's not in the same hex. If you're not in the same mm -hmm. house, so can we catapult uh, Braxton into the ship? <laughs> Actually, I, oh, I was thinking of catapulting you after all over. You would die. You fly. No, I got fly. I yeah, out of the trajectory. But then Laughter will be on a ship full of. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but he'd be invisible. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You just, take... you just got to destroy the helm without becoming visible. <sighs> Oh, these plans are so funny. Oh, they turn our again. plans never seem. Uh, our plans, when we're doing something that seems smart, it never. Ah, seems they're not trying to escape. Oh well, no, they're How they are definitely their ship? circling around. Uh, it can it is not terribly damaged. You've uh, How is only it gotten two to hits ours? on them. It's hard to say. You've only gotten two hits on them. They've gotten what four, four. on you? No, we've, we've had four, four hits on them. The two helm two helm and... we, we hit it three times because we hit right, it right, right. four Doesn't times matter. with the helm seekers. Yeah. Doesn't matter. We don't know how many hull points it's got. Oh, no, I'm trying to build up a comparison. How damaged does our ship look compared to theirs? You looks like they're going to win. You have, so, uh, you have medium weapons, they have heavy weapons, and if they've hit about the same number of times as you, then they've hit... They're, they're going to win. They've, they've done more damage. Yeah, we yeah. need... We need to board that thing and too. take them out and steal their heavy weapons. So it's your turn now. Our turn now? Yep. So we gotta move forward one, two, turn? Or you just wanna move forward one, two, Yeah, I wanna get into contact with them. We're gonna get blown out of the water if we Did you keep on move going. forward one, turn, and then move forward another one? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's three. Yeah, we can do that, right? No, you can't. No. You get a free turn at the answer. end. Otherwise, turns count uh, 
use up an SR. Yeah, go like. Oh, sorry. Or a bad I... turn. <laughs> why, why would you want Leva to go to the helm? So I need her right there. Or you want me to be well, up? Well, not there? anymore because I. Well, I mean, you don't have you 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 don't have to use up all your SR. Okay. Um, yeah, we could just move forward one and then turn. That would okay. use up our SR. Yeah. Don't forget, they're going to go forward. Possibly. At least. Okay. The catapults should be ready, though, now. Uh, our catap has it been two rounds since we fired our catapults? Yes, it has. So we and we should have a uh, ballista, too, right? Yes, your, uh, the ballista that has not fired is uh, is available. And the ballista we fired the first round should be available as well. This is also an option we haven't considered. And we could always always get the other ship out and flying. To yeah. cut them off at the very least. Yeah, the we could No, I'm, I'm mentioning it as an option. It's how, how easy would it be to land our, uh, the hilt inside the back of their ship? Uh, it would be a crash. Yeah. yeah. So we might. Well, at the very least, Why would you we, I mean, you could, you could, could you could, you could certainly try to, you know, like throw lines and grapple with the uh, the side, the edge, uh, as opposed to like land in there. Yeah. So if you wanted to gather like all of your, um, uh, the marines. Yeah, like if you wanted to land a bar boarding party, get uh, all of your party members up there and going in, that would be something. How yeah. much? How much hull can? That. How much damage can that thing sustain if it gets attacked? Uh, your shuttle can take twenty. So if it gets for more than two rounds of combat, then it's a risk of being destroyed. Well, we just had to get. Lot. We just had to get into boarding range. Once we well, get inside, our ship or their ship, yeah. Once we get, if we board, we have to attack their um. We have I'm to attack thinking their if ballistics. we're gonna try, if we're gonna separate the ships, we should try to go in the rear. No, That's we shouldn't the... go in by the rear. What, what are you talking about? That's where the escape ships are. Why would we go in the rear? Well, if because you want it's to open, that would be a whole lot harder because they've got three weapons pointed right out the back. If you want to get, if you, if you want to get uh, um, the shuttle going, uh, you need to decide soon. Because it's a it's a new and round. And Leva or Laftal have to sit on it. Well, actually, you said that it, you were gonna you, you had some weapon fire that you could do, right? Let's at least yeah. take care of yeah. that. Yeah. So our two catapults. Right. And I believe our first ballista is also Hig loaded. Is Higamus yeah. gonna do his cheerleading first? I guess I can. Wait for pom poms, Higamus. Uh, yeah, and I've only blessed the catapult crew, so ah, uh, the ballista crews. So they don't get the plus. It works. All right. So what are you firing? Uh, we have two catapults of, and two ballistas, I think, because the ballista we fired the first round, it was has been more than three rounds since we fired it. Okay. By the way. So it would be two ballistas, two catapults. Then I will roll for the ballistas. Oh, both of them. Yeah. Uh, there's a plus two on those because they were blessed. Okay. So one of those Can I do the two catapults then? Or would someone else yeah, want to do you, one? Go ahead. No, bro, yeah, just go ahead keep and do it. it. Simple. I mean, it's more important to get Ooh. the rolls out there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One, one of the uh, one of the ballistas uh, um, has a malfunction and will need repairs. And the other one that was the nine. Uh, so with the eleven. Uh, that is a hit, and the catapults, those are both hits. Well, hey! Is it just a 1d3? Uh, so the catapults are a 1d3 plus 1, and the ballista is 1d3. How much damage does the ship oh. take before you start losing crew? Um, I assume that's the thing. If the ship starts breaking up, it it really isn't. Uh, it happens oh. when there's critical hits and things like that. Nine damage. Okay, and oh, also, uh, the one that malfunctioned was the uh, um, not the one on the shuttle. Okay, so it was that's lucky because that's mm -hmm. the magic one. 
You gotta remember that one's the magic one. Yeah. All right, so that's nine damage. Higher item saving. Fit. Yeah, but it's it's a. Uh, oops, that's not right. Okay. All right. Um. So, real fast, do you guys want to get off in the in the shuttle? And if so, who is piloting it? Because that's a big question. Our other helmsman will be out. Our other normal helmsman will be out. Yeah, Nora's so, already, Nora's out of uh, uh, spells. He's so, used up. And unless <laughs> unless one of our two spell casts is gonna volunteer, that's the idea. No. Don't we have that spell post you have spell jamming too? What's the that's advantage true. or disadvantage of uh, of going with the uh, with the shuttle? Uh, the so they don't is, is that we could fly over and try to board them while the bow dolphin keeps them busy. The problem that we're having yeah. at the moment is the fact that they could just blow us out the water and we won't even be able to get up to them. We need to either cut them off with the shuttle. Or we can try to board them on the entire ship. They can't can outrun two grapple. ships and keep firing. We've got two choices. We can either try to grapple with our entire ship or we try to board with our shuttle at the back while the dolphin keeps firing at will at the front of their ship. I think that using the shuttle is the best plan. Paxson, what do you think? Uh, each each strategy is I is something that may work, uh, but we lose a helm, helm we lose a spellcaster. For combat, mm -hmm. yeah. For combat. Mm -hmm. My, I, yeah, either. I think that we need Leva spells a bit more since she since she's a, a lot less effective when she doesn't have her spells to cast unlike Lattle who is still very effective with his uh, with his weapons well I you, was you may also want to think about what the uh, um, the enemy has done so far yeah the enemy's just been f trying to fly around us in rings well I think they tried to ram us they're well, gonna no. try to ram us again they might have just bluffed us. Still, I, I think, think we should just uh, fly up with our... Uh, after seeing what they do here this round, I think we should just fly up and uh, I don't with our main we're... ship and just board them. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's try and board with the, the whole ship. Okay. Fine. All right, so, you don't all... need, uh, so you don't need to use the second spell, uh, spell caster. So we can... Who... All right. Oh, so board with your ship, you mean? Not the yeah. shuttle? Okay. Yeah. Board with the entire dolphin. Because they've okay. turned, basically. But, we assumed that they were going to run. But if we don't get the chance on this next round, I think we should try the shuttle. Yeah, we can still change strategies. But once we change strategies, we're stuck with it. That is true. Yep. Uh, as long as you continue as you are, you still have the shuttle as a potential. And keep in mind also that the shuttle could always be used as, a, uh, as an escape ship. You know, get all the crew mm -hmm. aboard that and fly away. If it comes to that, if yep. it, comes, if to it that, comes, comes to that, we'll do that. But for now, all right, go ahead and roll initiative. Come on, you can do this, Agamus. I'm actually. Mm, could I say actually, I cast battle fate? Because it's lasting ten rounds. Uh, you could cast. Well, I mean, you could do it this round. Yes. Mm. Well, yeah. it's think... better than the last round. <laughs> I think we want them to go first, actually. Because no. Battle Fight lasts ten rounds. Uh, yeah, so... We can move four spaces, right? If we go first. Nope, only two. Uh, hmm. Alright, that didn't update. Alright, hold on. Uh, I'm wondering how long Braxton's rope is in hexes. <laughs> not one hex. Not even one it's hex. Not, uh, it's, not like one a, hex. it's like a quarter of a hex. It's a 50 yeah. foot long rope. It's not even a quarter of a hex. It's a blast that's got like three rounds left or something. I think. Okay, um, so uh, you guys, uh, your plan is to just head straight for him? Yep. Yeah. yeah. As you do so, so okay? your oh. ship shudders to a halt. Wow. And that's where we're going to end the session. Oh my wow. God. This, is, th this is Republic serial territory. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you killed them all. Thank <laughs> you.
It wasn't Nora, it was the other guy. Paris is on the helm. Uh Oh, God, Paris is dead. All right, so uh, when we come back next time, we'll uh, find out why your ship uh, came to a halt. Uh, let's see, experience point-wise, uh, it's going to oh, be I might level up. fairly... No, it's fairly light. Um, Aww. Aww. Uh, it's going to be... Uh... One million experience points. Laftal and Yeldon, you get uh, uh, 300 experience points. Everyone else gets 200. Two hundred. Get yeah. more. Why do I get more? Um, there was some rewards for stuff you did earlier. I don't actually remember. Oh, right for now. being honest with the role plague. Um, <laughs> it may have been. I don't know. I, I I tend to write down the numbers when things come up that I think about, and I don't always make a note of yeah. what it was for. So sometimes I forget. Two. By the time Two. that that's one of the reasons why I try to write it down when it happens, because otherwise by the end I forget what I was I, I intended to give it for. Mm-hmm. No, unfortunately, not enough. Thanks for half a fight. Indeed, indeed. And we'll see what uh, what has caused your ship to come to a halt. I'm guessing a number Hulk teleported into the helm room. Well, we'll definitely find out. All right. <laughs> the thing is, we've got so many crew. Wouldn't there be crew guarding the thing? Did we specifically no, say we, we never We <laughs> never do say these things. We yeah, should. well, you see, all's evil. And and uh, I will also point out that in, in terms of all the party members, uh, you specifically had them all up in one place. So you could bless them yep. a little while ago. Mm -hmm. And, you yep. know, you're talking about uh, um, boarding the vessel and stuff like that. And you've certainly mm -hmm. never encountered anyone teleporting aboard your ship before, so... <laughs> He's doing it. Maybe, oh, maybe not. It. You will That's have to find out. That's a very dangerous out. maneuver, though. It is a very well, dangerous. Yeah, but they're maneuver, slavers, yeah. so they don't really care. But uh, yeah, how, it, it's, it's going to be how valuable uh, are amber hoax to them. Um, pretty valuable, but I mean, they could have also sent someone else aboard. Ah, like a slave, mind-controlled slave. Well, oh, that was interesting. We will certainly uh, uh, find out. Uh, any last-minute uh, questions or anything that anyone wants to say before we uh, end off the stream? Are we gonna die next session? Of course. <laughs> po there's always. always a possibility. Always. I my 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 goal every time is to to kill you, and and so far, I have mostly been unsuccessful, with the exception of. Uh, uh, some fireball shenanigans and some pummel that to was death. That party killing themselves off. Pummeled to death by, uh, yeah, well, yeah, but I manipulated it by not explicitly calling out the um, fact that uh, <laughs> it was gonna happen when the fireball went off. I expected we, we people threw to dice. We, we I, threw the dice. I expected people to read the descriptions. Anyway, thank you guys for playing, and thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for playing. I still say that.